Alright, today I want to show you Warlock with synergies because um, in my introduction video for him, I didn't use any synergies at all. And man, oh man, is this guy just absolutely nuts when he has his full synergies. So I just wanted to make a quick video just showcasing this in like some simple fights. Um, so right here, so I have the Guillotine 299 synergy as well as the Magneto, Nick Fury, and War Machine synergies. The guillotine one provides an extra power gain at the beginning of the fight. Uh, the war machine one increases our non-damaging debuff durations and also gives us a nice attack increase. And the magneto and Nick Fury ones just give us pure attack increase. But you can see right there, that was a 42,000 heavy attack. And we did it again right there. Like the damage output when he has his synergies is quite insane to be honest. Um, so yeah, he is a monstrous damage, like damage dealer I feel like. When he has his full synergies, even by himself he's a good damage dealer, but like with full synergies, it is just a whole nother level. Like right here, a 64,000 heavy attack with no class advantage, that was just base warlock. And that was a 48 second fight against Winter Soldier. That is insane. He is a, he is a utility champion, right? He's not a damage dealer, but he's still putting up these numbers, so it's honestly super impressive. And now I gotta show you the class advantage because Warlock benefits a ton with class advantage. The armor breaks go really good with attack rating, and class advantage gives you a pretty nice base attack increase. So yeah, we try to build the special attack here. We go in, we drop the SB2, 15,900 crits on like the initial hits. We go for a heavy attack, and it's 76,000 on the heavy attack, and the 23,000 mediums end the fight. It is just absolutely absurd. Like, I would never think that Warlock could hit this hard, but here we are. He is hitting like an absolute truck. And this Wolverine fight, I just want to show it because, you know, Warlock is like a hard counter to Wolverine. Like, the 27k heavy is like at base with like no armor break. It's just like absolutely absurd. The bleed damage is also pretty nice. Like, 978 bleed damage consistently is really awesome. Uh, so now we go for the SP2 here. We drop it. Uh, barely any crits there, but then we drop the heavy attack, and boom, another 76,000 crit. Um, just absurd, man. Just so absurd. The damage output is so phenomenal with him. And that is, like, the base synergies I want to show. But I just want to show one more, actually. So Warlock has a synergy with his fellow robots where he gets increased attack rating whenever he's immune to an effect. It is a fury buff that lasts like 6 seconds and it's like a 60% attack increase, which is very strong overall. That's like the recoil masteries pretty much, right? So yeah, overall it's a really nice synergy. Um, it provides a lot of attack rating increase. But yeah, overall very useful synergy as it provides a fury buff which can be useful for some nodes. And it's just an overall nice attack increase. Like right there, that's a 75,000 heavy attack. This second heavy attack though is a bit modified because of the sun vulnerability on this node, but the first one wasn't, that was just like the pure damage of Warlock, which is just absolutely unreal man. And now we go up to the mutant fight in the lane, and Warlock just absolutely slaughters it of course. Um, we don't get a big crit on the heavy attack, but we still get some nice crits on the initial hits. Like 17,000 per initial hit is quite insane. And then we get a 26k non-crit. I wish it crit, man. That would have been such a nice number to see. But that was a 21,000 medium in the end anyways. But uh, yeah, overall, Warlock is a very capable character. He has access to a lot of very good synergies that help his damage output and his overall utility. And uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts on Warlock. Let me know your thoughts on his fully synergized power. And uh, yeah, that's about it for me.